What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video, I'm about to go look at a used ZL1 1LE. So one of my friends, 4 Second 6 Gen, go follow him on Instagram and YouTube. He's very close to a thousand subscribers by the way. So he put me up on to this Camaro because he recently sold his and he's in the market too. So I'm going to take his tip and uh, go check out this Camaro. Also, race car friends. He just got a new car, so that's really got me antsy to go get a new car too. So go check out this channel as well. RCF friends on uh, RCF crew on Instagram, race car friends on YouTube. So I got a lot of running around to do today. I actually took the day off, but I'm going to be ripping and running all day long until the night. So yeah, I'm about to bring you all with me today. Got to do an update to the Camaro that I did order. So yeah, we're about to go check out this Camaro. It's one of those things where those, it's a very good price. So you know what that comes like, what's wrong with it? So I'm about to go check it out. So before you leave the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's jump into it. anxiously waiting to see what Anthony's going to replace his Camaro with. So he had a nice build on his Camaro SS. He had a 2016. So he's in the market as well. He's the one that got me. He's the one that made me order the Camaro basically. Like you just can't go out there willy nilly posting the Rapid Blue ZL1 and just think I'm going to be alright with that. Like I had to order one. So that's what I did. But I, since I ordered it a couple months ago, it's been no status change like my order isn't even accepted and I'm the next in line for the allocation so I'm getting real antsy right now so there's a couple cars I'm, I'm looking at so there's a Z28 also at City of Cars we may go by there if time allows us but yeah this one I think it's the 2017 ZL1 1 LE and it's been sitting for a while so that's what I call a lot rot where it just sits on a lot and kind of rot so I'm wondering why it's priced at this price because it's cheaper than the regular ZL1 and it has low miles and it's a certified warranty too but I did see that there was an accident so that's that's the part that scares me so I'm about to look into that so I'm not in a rush passively looking like I'm in my GT350 now so uh, there's no rush to buy a car this market sucks for for being a buyer so you definitely don't want to get a bad deal out here so it's actually, I really like the Civic Type R's, and I found one in Pennsylvania, and then I called, or I sent them an email like, yo, because I know it's going to be way more than what they wanted, but I didn't think it would be this much over sticker, so it's stickered at 39 but what they were selling it for at the dealership was $54,000. i am like, man, get out of here. Like, that's, nah, bro. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of deal you don't want to get out here in these markets, just... Just order one and you'll pay MSRP. But, like, the things, like, I'm going with my Camaro, like, it's taking a while, but you gotta be patient when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, let's, uh, I'll check back with you guys when we get there because I'm about to come up on some rush hour traffic, so see you in a minute. Parking my car on the street here. I saw the Camaro over there somewhere. So we're about to head over to it. Saw it from Woodward over here. So I, I want to see if uh, how this thing drives. So I hear that the ZL1 and the 1LE ZL1, there, the ZL1 1LE doesn't have magnetic ride control and it's super harsh. So I'm very curious about how that rides. So we're coming up to the car right now. They don't have a lot out here right now. Just a few used trucks. Ew. That doesn't look good. 
So the kicker with this car, pardon the road noise, it's been in the front end accident, so that's, oh, wide body. But I generally don't like my cars with accidents. It just kind of tanks the resale value. But this car right here is only $60,000. And I saw it go from dealership to dealership. So it didn't sell at another dealership. And it's been sitting for months, which is odd to me because Camaros generally sell really quick, especially in this market. And at this price too, this, this is like a $75,000 car in today's market with no accidents. So I'm just curious to see what, like what is it, what's wrong? But the body looks okay. It's kind of hard to tell with all the water droplets on it. Looking at the flow tie right here. I can't see anything wrong. And it was definitely front end damage. So that's what I'm looking for. See that there's a little gap in the hood right here. Oh, that's more than just a little gap. The panel doesn't match up that well. Might need to go look at another Camaro. But I do not. Remember there being, nah, that doesn't match. It's like a much bigger gap over here than on the other side. Yeah, that's, that's kind of huge. But it's certified. We're about to see if I can get the keys to this thing. So looking at the, this right here, I don't know, I can kind of tell that the person that had it before, I don't, I don't like stuff like that. The exhaust looks stock. I was trying to look at the body for other things, and Anthony told me it was like a couple other things I should pay attention to on here, but I'm not seeing those. He said it was like small dents everywhere, but it's hard to tell with the water droplets since it's condensation on here. So the dealership isn't open yet. I'll wait till we get a salesperson here. I'll probably go visit my cousin in the meanwhile. She works at a couple dealerships down. Actually, the dealership next door, two buildings over. So I'll talk to her until they open in a few minutes. This one. Like we're missing a strut tire brake. Don't these have a 
<laughs> yep, theft protection. <laughs> This is a bad thing. And I don't know what the heck this is. Well, yeah, that struck tower phrase adds to rigidity. Since it's been in the accident, I'm definitely leery on that. That's kind of like a tells how severe the front end was, so they had to take apart a lot of the uh, the body attached to that. Okay. I know when I sold my Camaro, the first thing you noticed was the screws, even if they were unturned. Yeah. Like even if the pink on the screw was like chip, chip, turned or something was, like, was gone yeah. or something was off, kind of. So that was a red flag. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to tell because clearly you know this was reported that had some kind of accident. Right. Maybe that's just what they use to repair it, but then again, yeah. when you spend this much money, but this much money, yeah. you want to be sure, you know. Exactly, yeah. So that's the thing. Um, now, with that being said, we do allow you to, you know, if you wanted to take it to somewhere and get it inspected, right? We allow that. Okay. Of course, your own costs and everything, but yeah, yeah. Okay. that's definitely something we would agree with. Okay. Exactly. Uh, actually, it was that dealership to do a parking inspection. Oh, okay. I had a uh, BFST last summer, too. Did you? Yeah. Those are cool. pre-owned car and it was before it came to this dealership so it was it sat at another dealership since like April then it came here so that right there kind of lets me know that somebody else realized there was something with the car to where you shouldn't buy it and not seeing the strut tower brace that was a red flag for me my guy Mac that brought my other two three cars he had uh, showed me like if there's a screw the screws I was looking at under the hood, if they're changed or even turned, there was definitely body damage. And those screws went all the way around the front. So I think it was uh, a little bit more moderate damage than minor damage. So I just got to walk away from that one. And that's one of those things where, like, if the price is too good to be true, then maybe it is. And then it was, who knows what mods there were on there. They, the website says certified pre-owned. And there's still a powertrain warranty, but if something happens, like you don't want to be on the wrong side of a warranty. And that's what I'm saying about my Mustang GT 350. Like that warranty goes a long ways, especially on this car. And they actually, I was told that they wouldn't let me do a, a test drive. They said I, I could do a test drive, but I have to do a credit app. And I don't want to do a hard inquiry on my credit. 
because if I'm not sure I'm going to buy the car, I don't want to run my credit because those hard inquiries, they take it down a few points and I need to make sure that my credit is in the top the top position where it can be because I've been dinging it a little bit to be to be honest. Like I opened a business credit card and I'm doing some other things for my personal credit. So I need to leave it alone until I'm ready to buy. And then just in case I'm ready to buy another car, I don't want to have all these hard inquiries on there. So I want to get the best rates. Just looking at the car, I knew I didn't want to buy it upon the, the hood alignment. It, was, it wasn't it was aligned. So for me, you guys see how much I sell cars. So when I'm buying a car, I'm buying it for me. And I'm buying it for the next person too. Because if you noticed, I don't keep my cars for long. So if I got into that car, as long as it took a dealership to sell that car, imagine little old me trying to sell that car too. I'm just one person. This is the this might be the biggest dealership collection in Michigan. And they had to move it from one dealership to another one on a car that's in it's a hot car right now too. So that car, that city of cars, those things don't last. They don't even hit the website. Like I saw a couple ZL1s in there. I didn't even know they had them. I'm like, dog, when'd y'all get this? And it's sold before I can even see them. So I'll wait till I get to a good example of a ZL1. So that's going to be that, folks. But let me go see my cousin. So the verdict is, don't hurry up and rush on the deal. Like, if a price is too good to be true, then maybe it is. I don't like cars that have accidents, especially where I can tell that there's accidents. Because I'm, I'm just learning how to inspect cars like that. Thanks to Mac when he, uh, he was buying my cars. He showed me, like, what to look for under a hood. And that was definitely a huge red flag. And actually, I have to call and check up on my order. I'm going to add another option to my Camaro Z01 that I have on order so it's an option that uh that carbon fiber dash I'm gonna add that to my order too I thought it came standard so I saw it on somebody else's Camaro just seeing what's out there I haven't seen any rapid blue manuals for sale that are yeah no manuals they're all automatics and they none of them have the options that I want on my car it's just like PDR automatic that's it like I gotta have the carbon fiber weave, red seat belts. Go go watch the video, let's see what I order. But uh yeah, it's cute checking out for this one. Not buying that Camaro. Um I think I should just wait so I can get a good deal. Cause sixty K, like I said, I plan on getting mine for like after taxes, maybe low sixty. So I'd rather have a new car, no accidents for that price. Even though it's not a one L E, which I don't know, that one L E is the one that I ultimately want i think i want it i don't know that's why i wanted to test drive it but i'm not about to ding my credit score to drive a damaged car so it's cute checking out don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell and i'll see you on the next video peace out